hi guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for all your support i hope you all are doing well today i'll be making a lovely dress a danchiki dress you can make it as a top you can make it as a dress if you're new to my channel you're welcome to my channel if you've not subscribed please subscribe and turn on your notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever i upload a new video this is the fabric that I'm using for it. This is African print by 45. To know how many fabric that you use for it, you will put on fold. You will measure from your center back to where you want your sleeve to stop. Where you want your sleeve to be on your hand. From center back to where you want your sleeve to stop on your hand. Or half of your shoulder measurement plus your sleeve length and seam allowance. Her shoulder measurement is 16. 16 divided by 2 is 8. This is 8 inches. From this 8 inches, I will measure sleeve length. Sleeve length of 8 inches plus 1 inch seam allowance. 8 plus 8 is 16 plus 1 inch seam allowance, 17 inches. So I have 17 inches. But how many inches you use for your sleeve is optional. This is starting line. From starting line to the end of the dress is 42 inches. The length of the dress is 40 inches plus 2 inches in my allowance to hem it is 42 inches. I'll mark her neck width. I'll use neck width of 3 inches and neck depth of 4 inches for the front and neck width of 3 inches and neck depth of 1 inch for the back. I'll mark neck width of 3 inches, neck depth of 4 inches. For back neck depth, 1 inch. For back, I'll connect it. This is for the back. This is for the front. Here I'll mark the shoulder slant two inches. From this shoulder line, I'll come down by two inches. For shoulder slant, I'll connect it to the neck width. I will mark her round sleeve measurement. To get her round sleeve measurement, I will use half of her round armhole. Her round armhole is 18. 18 divided by 2 is 9. 9, because it's free dress, the type of the dress, I will add ease to the sleeve. I will add like 2 to 3 inches. So 9 inches plus 3 inches, I will add 3 inches, is 12 inches. So from this shoulder line, I will measure 12 inches. Twelve inches, or from the shoulder slant, you will measure ten inches. Or another way you can do it, you will measure the round sleeve, her round sleeve, and add two to three inches to it. Like her, her round sleeve is fourteen inches. Fourteen divided by two is seven, plus three inches for ease, ten inches. This is the round sleeve. Here I'll come in by one and a half inches, one and a half, two inches. I'll come in by one and a half. One and a half. One inch is similar ones to fold the sleeve. So I'll come in by one and a half inches. So 
So I'll connect it. So I came in by one and a half inches. Another thing you can do, if you don't want it this way, if you want it a little bit fitted, you can use your hip measurement and add his allowance to it. From the shoulder line, I will measure her hip line, 24 inches. So I'll add her bust measurement on this line. Her bust measurement is 48. 48 divided by 4 is 12 inches. Plus 1.5 inches or 2 inches for ease. I'll use 2 inches. Is 14 inches. I'll measure 14 inches. This is 14 inches. So if you don't want it this loose, you can come in up to this. This is her hip line. Her hip measurement is 48. 48 divided by 4 is 12 inches. Plus 1.5 inches or 2 inches for ease. I'll use 2 inches. It's 12 plus 2 is 14. 14 inches. So this is 14 inches here. If you don't want it this loose, so you use this measurement. I'm going to cut the back neckline. After that, I'll remove the back one and cut the front neckline. The front is folded into two and the back is folded into two also. So I'm going to cut the neckline. This is the back neckline. I'll add half inch seam allowance to stitch the shoulder. I added half inch seam allowance to join the shoulder. I'll cut on the seam allowance line. I'll give it a notch, little notch, like quarter of an inch. I will remove the back one to trim the front neckline. The front neckline. From here, I will mark 4 to 5 inches because the front will have slits. I will mark 5 inches, 5 inches, I will open it, so what I will do next is to cut the facing, this is for the facing, I will fold it into two and put it under to cut out the facing. The fabric you use for facing, you make sure that it's longer than this slit. From shoulder to the slit, it's longer, like three inches longer. Two and a half, three inches longer. I'll put it this way. So I'm going to trim it. I will slit the facing also. This is for the facing. From the end of the slit, I will mark two and a half inches, three inches. I will mark three inches. On this side, I'll mark two and a half to three inches. I'll use three inches. I'll cut it. This is for the front facing. This is for the front. 
I'll fold fabric and put under to cut the back facing. This is for the back facing. I'll fold it into two. I'll trim it. Three inches. Three inches. This is for the back. So what I'll do next is to stitch the facing to the neckline. This is right side of the fabric. Right side of the facing, right side together. I'll stitch it after that. I'll turn it this one top stitch. This is for the front. This is the first scene. Right side together. I'll stitch it. After that, I'll turn it this way inside. This is for the back. I've stitched the facing to the neckline. I notch and top stitch on the facing side. I also overlock the edge. So I'll turn it to this side. I'll turn it to the inside. This is the right side of the fabric. This is for the front. I stitched the facing also to the neckline. After that, I notch and top stitch on the facing side. I'll turn it inside. I also overlock the edge, the facing. I've pressed it also. What I'll do next is to stitch the front and the back together at the shoulder line. I'll put it this way, right side together. This is the right side of the back and this is the front. Right side together. This is the facing. I'll hold it this way. I'll hold it this way. I'll stitch it using half inch seam allowance. I'll do the same on this side. After that, I'll now hem the sleeve half inch, half inch. I'll stitch it to the notch. From this notch to the other notch, I'll do the same on this side. I've stitched the front and the back together at the shoulder line. I also overlocked it. I did the same on this side. I also hem the sleeve. You remember, I have one inch allowance to hem the sleeve. I folded half inch in, another half inch, and stitch on it. You know, I came in by one and a half inches, this line. You will do the same on the other side. Half inch in, the way I folded the sleeve, another half inch will be on top of this line. So what I'll do now is to stitch the two sides. So I'll stitch it on this line. This is the same line. I'll stitch it on this line. 
to the end after that if i want i will trim off this seam allowance or i'll just overlock it i'll do the same on this side and hem the lower parts and this is the dress I also hem the lower part. I press it. If you want, you can make it as a top. If you want to make it as a top, you make it shorter than this. You can make it length 29 to 32, 33, depending on how long you want it. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.